So here we are. This is the great pedestrian walkway that goes from Rock Falls into Sterling, or from Sterling to Rock Falls. And uh, it's Archbishop Gina Jewell. And uh, we're able to see the Sinisippi Dam pedestrian walkway regulations. So nothing that we really have to be too concerned about because we're going to be fine. Uh, a lot of those are rules about fishing and stuff and how you can't be in here after dusk and I think you can't ride your bike and stuff over this. But this is it right here. And uh, just following along behind his eminence here. You're gonna see how it is. Yep, yep. So, uh, that's the train in the background. And there it is. Yep, and then there's, there's, who knows what in there. But, uh, you see the water, you see the train, you see the river, and uh, we're just, just walking along here. So we'll, we'll see the train here for quite a while here. We're going to flip over. Now there's some sun here, so this is kind of a little bit dark here. of the side. Yep. And then you can see underneath there, that is the lower upper dam, I'm sorry, upper dam. Yep. It's in there. And then you can see there's some bicycles going by here. And again, that's the train. Pretty amazing train there. Yeah. And we're able to see these lights here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take a look here. Oh yeah, look at that. And then, there again is your, your spillway area. You know, I hate to do that with the phone. This is, this is, this phone is, believe it or not, something that uh, would cost quite a bit to replace. Most video you can't actually stare into the sun with the camera and have any good results. But this, on the other hand, you can. So yeah, this is this is what it is. Oh boy, the Archbishop the Jewel is starting to do the jog here. Yep. So we're, we're taking a look here, seeing how awesome this is. <clears throat> and we're going to come along here and yeah, you know, where we're from or came from. And you can see there's some little geese and whatnot, maybe. There's some rocks. Usually on the rocks, that's where you get your, your geese a lot of times. Um, Archbishop is doing his jog here. It's just such a wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. You know, the whole phrase, let us be rejoice and be glad in it. That's what comes to mind here. You know, we uh, we 
look around here we see some some awesome park here that is the upper dam up there you see the waterway yep. we see some beautiful birds too Be well worth it there. There's Archbishop there, he's got a big smile on his face. Yes. <laughs> Just looks like, you know, yeah. yeah. This is a day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> I'll tell you, I uh, I haven't been here a whole lot. It's one of those things where I prepare a, a four marathon. You prepare a what? Sterling uh, marathon. Sterling Rock Falls. That's a good idea. Sterling Rock Falls marathon. Yeah. I, that's a good idea. That is. Yeah. That, you should talk to the tourism office about that. <laughs> yeah, because if you do that. Then uh, we could have some people to our church, maybe. Yeah, they could have like a marathon, especially if it's got a cross involved, some kind of crosswalking marathon. So right there, I think that is what's called a swan. You can barely see it there, maybe, but it's a it's a white swan there, and uh, or maybe it's a crane. Uh, no, it's it's not like a, a boat sort of dam it's, but it is but these dams do open and close so that it's not like a, a lock yeah, they like open a, door and yeah, they here. Do, yeah they open and close yes. but, but they're not they're not for boats they're for uh they're they're for the hydroelectric so they you know sometimes there's more need for water to flow and less need based upon yeah. based upon what the water level is so that's you know for the electric production so that's part of it there so yeah this is this is what it is there's our special the jewel there taking a look kind of like looking down at the great river here not a sea but river so yep yeah. so it's pretty amazing here yep. And then this part right here, it looks like we're we're coming up to a wooden part. So it is nice. Woods, you know, quite a bit different. This would be maybe slick in the rain when it's wood. Yeah, these beams here. That's that's the the wall here. That's your hearing when I knock on it. Yeah, this is 
is what it's about here. I know this is well constructed. You know what's nice about something like this is, you know, when it's constructed when you're young, yeah, you can maybe enjoy it for your whole life. Because uh, these things are built to last a lot of times. Uh, maybe like 100 years or more, we would assume. You'll be able to show your children, your grandchildren, maybe their grandchildren. This wood like this, the wood has to be replaced after a while, though. So, yep. But other than that, I mean, there was a time I remember when this wasn't even here, so that you can't really tell right there but it looks like a little island usually you never want to direct your camera directly in the sun like that but this thing's very advanced there's his eminence right there Archbishop of Jewel taking a look here at the wonderful river yep but yeah this this walkway was not always here Uh, it's not real bad, but huh? yeah, it's not real bad. It's a danger. Yeah, if it, maybe a tripping danger, but it's it's not like people are going to fall through. I don't think. So yeah. So here's the little little island there. It's got a little bicycle on it, even. You can see the water, it looks like it's kind of shallow going out there. I'm gonna zoom in on that bike. You see that bicycle there, somebody put it there, that's interesting. Looks like somebody maybe rode it out there somehow when the water level was low. Don't know how though. Could be the case too, somebody brought it in on a boat. Part like of a art design. They, did sort of in the way way early in the morning or in the night so here's another another view of that nice little island there yeah you see there's a calm to the river going up to that so there must be a real shallow, real, real shallow place there. It's the only thing I could think. The river looks like a pond going up to that. And then you can see, you can see how, how calm the river is on this side. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you feel it shake? Yes. They're dancing. Oh boy. Be careful. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. I I didn't even, I didn't know that was possible. This thing's so well built. Yeah, what happened there is I stepped on a spot and there was a little bit of a bounce. And so I try to see if I could shake the bridge back and forth, and I could a little bit. But most of this is so well built that like where I'm walking, there's no bounce. This is like walking on a concrete floor. It is. There was a guy that I knew working for a home improvement store 
and there was a lift that we get on we'd get on we'd use it to get orders and stuff from from like uh, real real high shelves real high steel there is called so these shelves would be like maybe like 20 20 or 30 foot high or something or maybe 40 foot in the air or whatever so we'd get on this machine and then it'd lift us up and then we'd get like windows or something down from that high you know above above the store and and so we, we got on the lift we we're going up and the guy said jump and, and he kind of made the motion jump up and down. So I did. And then he got real afraid because the machine was kind of rocking back and forth and we were like 40 feet in the air. And he didn't think I was going to jump. As <laughs> uh, this current present here. What? Uh, oh, what does it say? Or? As a current present. Uh, not inter. Yeah. Oh, hazardous currents. Yeah, don't enter the spillway area. They're talking about like the water. Yeah, the water. So that's yeah, because there's like under currents under the water. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, so the water might look still, I guess, on the on the uh, top there, but I guess there can be what's called undercurrents that could pull you down. And there was a sign about that. Not going there. There's some people fishing here. I would show you that, but yeah. Yeah, it's one of those situations where you know really have to be best to get people's permission. Because otherwise they think it's kind of weird. H. Mac McCormick from his family. So let's see here. Power for the people. Yep, power for the people. This is about the great hydroelectric plant here that uh, Sterling Rock Falls uh, has. Senapipi. Senapipi dams. Out here, seeing it there. And you guys can pause the video at home. We've had this for a long time. I know, I know when I was a child there. You know, I really can't even tell you. Yeah, I think, I think where we traveled was right on top of that. Yeah, so I think we traveled like, like right, right oh. along the top of that. As okay. far as where I think we traveled is. So I think this is the top, and then we just went right, right through. And so we'd be like right over yeah. and back. And uh, and you can, you guys can see it at home here. Now, this was not always a bridge over here. Yeah. Yeah, so this, this bridge was built rather recently, and then there was, I think, an area that people could walk across here, but only certain people. It was only open to the people that worked in the hydroelectric. Uh, plant, I think, but uh, so that's why I think part of this was wooden, and then the other part was, uh, and you can see it there. Part of that's wooden, and then part of it is like aluminum, I think. And uh, so yeah, so that's why it's got two parts to it. So I think uh, this says the Mississippi Dam. Uh, commonly known as the government dam was completed in 1907 just downstream from the mouth of the northerly uh, built uh, oh, Hennepin. For but, a long time since uh, this is it? Yeah so this is this is where this is where I remember in 1989 uh, discussions to began to develop the uh, property into a park as a tribute to W Martin Dillon, uh, through contributions or yeah, uh, though contributions are made by friends and family, 
in Dylan's honor. Uh, Martin's uh, uh, landing finally became a reality when the park was dedicated on September uh, 20, uh, 20th, uh, 2008. So maybe I don't remember that. I remember I something. I remember around 1989 there was work on, on this. That's what I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I remember it was it was like being turned into a hydroelectric plant and uh, it was around 89 or so. Didn't have a camera back then, otherwise could have maybe taken some photos of it, but it was one of those situations where it was a long time ago and, and uh, so yeah, I, I know I've seen, I've seen this place for 40, 42 years or so, I think. This place is between the house where I live and which is where my natural parents lived uh, all throughout my childhood. It's where I was taken home as a baby. Uh, this place is between that house where I currently live even. And it's between my grandparents' house where my natural parents now live. And my grandparents lived in the same house for likely ever since before their children even. So, so yeah, this is this is how it how it goes here. And, and uh, yeah, in memory of Glenn uh, Berna's family, that's what it says here. So this is, this is what it is right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a look here. Looks like some people that can't really be identified out there. There's a little area. Yeah. How they get there, I don't know. Oh, maybe there's, maybe there's a way. Right, they, uh, looks like there's a, oh, there's a path I think that goes there. It's the first time I've noticed that. So, so yeah, we're just gonna walk along here. And looks like there's a path here even. There's a path that goes up to the railroad tracks, it looks like, even. And then here you can see his eminence is going down some steps here. It's going down some steps. There's some trees here. So, yep. And uh, this is kind of like a little, little area right here. Yep. That's the where the train goes. Yeah, I'd say I'd say if you go up there be 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 really careful of the train there. Oh no. I have no idea. <laughs> I hear you though. One of the things that uh, hasn't really been noted too much on these uh, trips here to the parks is that uh, oftentimes you have to be really careful because uh, in a city like this, when there's only like maybe one or two cops on duty and you have 
miles and miles and miles and miles of park everywhere. Uh, you get a situation where there's a lot of different places where, you know, people that are not very cultured can go and spend their time and especially when they, you know, have nothing and, and that's sometimes what they do and they go to places and spend their time and so I'm trying, trying to sit as nice as I can here and hopefully you know, we don't want to be that way ourselves but uh, I'm just telling you this because uh, I know that at some of these parks here it can be kind of a big deterrent there and even going to them so for some people but it's usually not that bad around here because it's a small community where people tend to know each other and stuff so it's one of those deals where you know if the cops come out and they you know have to deal with some people they kind of get to know them after a while and then it tends to be, I think, a situation where they get herded around. So, oh, this is... Sterling. Oh, Sterling. 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 This is the Sterling side. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a uh, place that you know well, probably. The park. The park. It's a, this is, I think, called the Dillon home. Yeah, we've walked, we've driven past it many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take a look here. Yeah, I know the place now. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of look here a little bit. I haven't been this way for a while. Actually, I don't think I've been this far in the path. There's a steam engine. Uh, it's a caboose for a steam engine. And then I think there's a steam engine there too. So, Pete Dillon had Northwestern Steel and Wire. That was the name of the company. And that's his house over here, I think. And, uh, Northwestern Steel and Wire I know this place. was the last, I think one of the last places, if not the last places in the whole nation to still use steam engines for transporting goods. And you can see it's got a brick, nice little brick driveway here. And there's the house. So, we're just kind of moving along here. So there's a, another monument there. Yep. So, so we're going along here. So we're going to put the camera down a little bit here, let some people pass. Hi there. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, not bad. Oh, God bless. So you can see Dylan's house there. It's actually bigger, it looks bigger, a lot bigger when you can see it from this angle. And uh, so the Steel mill there 
is what's known for and that's a bicycle repair station I guess the steel mill is what's known for for uh, making sterling what it is you know, because sterling got the steel mill and as a result they're able to have some uh, product to sell and, and that product that they sold there they're able to sell and make the community what it is so that in economics is called primary industry you know that's your factories and the big places that people make their income and uh, Northwestern Steel and Wire it did so well so very very well that uh, economically that uh, it, was, it was very possible back in the day for people to have high incomes and they did they had high incomes they made uh, quite a bit of money and and uh, you know I think I was told by somebody that was a cashier at a grocery store in Sterling I think she said in 1965, there are people that came out of the grocery store and cashed weekly paychecks, weekly paychecks for $1,000 a week. Yeah, the other one says Northwestern Steel and Wire there. Yeah, those are the steam engine there. And this is what made Sterling what it is. Yeah, that guy that lived in that house and these uh, these steam engines there. Yeah, this was the last one of the last places that still used steam engines because uh, the the engines became diesel. Yeah. Yeah, and people didn't use steam anymore because it had to be refilled with water. So, but I think steam was probably a lot cheaper because. You know, you're just able to use coal and water or whatever to produce your your power, whereas your diesel would take fossil fuels. At least I would think it'd be cheaper. I don't know. You know, maybe with the labor and having to shove coal coal into a furnace there, that was probably pretty costly. But but yeah, if you're if you're a guy like this guy, you know he. Uh, he probably, you know, certainly would have run those things to save money. So it's one of those things where everybody else in the world using diesel and he's using steam. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened there. So, but he was good at innovating, I guess. He had uh, the world's largest electric steel furnace. I think he was probably running that at the same time. I'm not sure, but I imagine it would be at the same time he was also running steam engines to transport the steel to Chicago uh, from here. So if you can imagine that, you know, world's largest electric steel furnace, this great innovation combined with a steam engine taking that steel to Chicago. Sounds pretty crazy, but you know what? It's how this area, I guess, used to be. So most people, when they innovate, you know, a lot of times they'd want to innovate everything. You know, they want to maybe have a new diesel engine, you know, new electric furnace, you know, new everything. But, uh, but no, you know, if it's cheaper to run the steam engine, why not? Imagine after a while, it's probably hard to get parts for those. Hate to see too if it broke down on the tracks. What you do? You'd probably have to get a, likely have to get the uh, diesel engine and tow it. But that's probably what happened.
So yeah, there's his eminence walking behind. You know, some of this too, it's the case that uh, even though you have such wealthy people and you can look at their houses and stuff and talk about them, you know, one of the reasons why the, uh, the guy that ran the mill here was so important there, as I understand it, is that he would take the limo, he'd have the limo driven through the mill, he'd get out, this is a story I was told by I think a few people even, he'd get out, he'd talk to the workers uh, very directly, and if they had a problem with anything, then they were to come and talk to him. And so he was, he cared, cared about the success of the company, he cared about, you know, the workers there. And uh, these days, it's not like that. Sometimes you go into a company and, and uh, it's easy to get treated like trash. So. Yep, and then sometimes nobody listens to you. Your ideas might be great ideas, but if the people that are considered to be the great experts, if they're not the ones that thought about it, or the people in authority, or whatever the case may be, then sometimes people don't even listen to the ideas. It just gets to the point where, where you know, it... People don't care a lot of times. And that's the sad part about it. So there's Zemnitz there relaxing. Hi. I'm going to see where this ends here. Because I think I might know. I think it might end up here. But I'm just going to look here. You can sit though if you like. I... But yeah, there's the train tracks there. You don't want to go on the train tracks ever mm -hmm. yeah because they're dangerous trains go through there and you know so this is very interesting how this is So this looks like the path here, and you can see there's, let me zoom in here, you see there's something down there on the river, looks like a boating area. Worst part is, I'm trying to think what that is even. I've lived here for 42 years. Right here, we're back. What? Oh, you want to go back? Uh, let me let me just kind of look here, and I just want to see how this how this goes here, because it looks like looks like the trail ends at the street here. Yeah, we can go back. We can go back. Okay. Yeah. So I know you can, you can take it, I think all the way to Sinisippi Park, but that's only if you walk down a street or two. So, so yeah. So as Eminence is leading the way here, I know that's quite a, quite a walk here. It's like there's a lady with a dog so a couple dogs actually. So we're going to kind of pan around here to the nature scene. 
not French dog. Not French dog. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. I, I apologize, Your Eminence. I apologize. You could have sat on the bench. I would have come back. I was just trying to see where that led there. I think, think if you if you go down that way and then if you go down the street, I think you'll be at Mississippi Park. Yeah. I think that's where it goes. So I think the path leads pretty much up to Mississippi Park, but not not yeah. fully. Yeah. So this is. It's interesting to see though it is there you can see the walkway in the distance there that we were on it's all kinds of park benches here makes it nice and I'll tell you what it's good for me to get some exercise it's one of those things where you know we live a a life and you know usually unless you're taken up into heaven uh, when it comes that time sort of raptured out of here usually people die and uh, they die a natural death and I'll tell you what People usually have only so many years and that's how it tends to go and and so it's where it's nice when we can you know come together and love one another love God enjoy the good things that God has given us and uh, it makes a big difference it makes a big difference You can see how this is here. But keep in mind though, I mean, his eminence is in the lead here, so I'm the one trailing behind. <laughs> so, yep. If he's able to get some exercise here. Which is very good. So, yeah. I know that I worked at stores for 14 years or so and you know every day we had to walk I walked I think 3.2 miles every day you know because to do the job right and to do the job the way it should be that's what I did, is I did, did it right in the way it should be. It was an enormous amount of walking every day. Every day. I'm kind of walking slow here because, you know, I'm kind of not as accustomed to walking as much anymore. Even the schools, though. I've worked in the schools there for couple of years in the K through 12 schools even there you get a lot of walking and so makes a big difference you know people usually like I say usually born they live and then they die Jesus however was born he lived he died, and then he is risen from the dead. Yes, he is risen. Not was risen, but he is risen. <laughs> you know, we enjoy him alive. He didn't die after that. He died once, but when he was risen from the dead and continues to be alive today. 
In fact, for us to have life, we have life in him and through him. Because he has risen from the dead. So, that's the whole story there. Jesus has risen from the dead. I know. But until Comcast is on the road, we're sitting with them right now. Sometimes we look and we see, you know, such great things. Somebody with a huge mansion. And uh, sometimes it's, it's not so good. You know, sometimes it's uh, better to be poor. Yeah, I apologize, Remnants. I know I'm kind of slow here. I weigh close to 400 pounds, so... You have to please be patient with me, I mean to say. <laughs> so, we're going to see here how this is like. I'm going to kind of cut the camera around the cars here. There's his eminence here. And we're, we're going to walk along here. There's the Mississippi Park rules. see him there I'll tell you what it's a huge blessing to have his eminence here. Oh boy, his eminence is jumping. So this is slow curve ahead, keep right. Slow curve ahead, keep right. I, I think there's a maybe a situation where people take their bikes here and they're not supposed to. That's what it sounds like even. Yeah. Yeah, I said that about the bikes, and suddenly they were here. That's the island again. Yeah, we can see it there. See the little island, your eminence? Oh, you got a fishing pole, it looks like. So there's, there's your island right there. Yep, and you can see it on the waterway. The one with the bicycle and the tree. Shrub, I should say. There's your ducks. And then looks like like somebody's out there fishing. No idea. Yep, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> 